making realistic paper flowers is now an easy and fun paper craft that you can do. I'm going to show you how to make dimensional paper hydrangeas using McGill's Paper Blossoms Floral Design Tools. You'll learn to transform flat paper punch outs like these into realistic hydrangeas like these. Let me teach you how to make them. First, let's review the tools you'll need. McGill's Paper Blossoms Punches provide the shapes that coordinate to create our beautiful hydrangeas. McGill's Paper Blossoms Toolkit with three tools offers six different size stylus balls to mold and add details to shapes. Also, a straight reverse tweezers holds the petals and leaves comfortably as you assemble your flowers. McGill's Craft Molding Mat with just the right amount of cushion to mold your punched shapes into petals and leaves. I'm sure you'll like the larger work area and non-skid surface too. Other supplies you'll need are clear, quick drying paper crafting glue that lets you set your petals, keep them upright and in position, and gives a strong bond when it dries. A marker to add color centers to the hydrangea petals and a one inch styrofoam ball. Now we're going to make a hydrangea. The punch shapes that we'll use are the mini petals and the birch leaf. There are three techniques used to make hydrangeas. They are cupping, shaping, and assembly. Place a round mini petal shape on the mat and hold the five millimeter stylus at a 90 degree angle to the paper. Press down and roll the stylus around in the center a bit to help it cup up. As you apply pressure, the shape forms a cup around the stylus. Don't worry if the paper creases a little. This technique is called cupping. Place a birch leaf on your mat. Use the 8 mm stylus. Press the stylus into the center of the petal as you move the tool in a circular motion over the paper. This softens the paper so it can be manipulated more easily. As you do this, paper will begin to curl up around the stylus. This technique is called shaping. You'll use it to form the leaves. The last technique is the assembly of the flower. I like to work on a non-stick craft sheet, or any scrap of paper will do. Apply a little dab of glue at a time. Since the glue is quick setting and will dry, I just add more glue as needed to keep it fresh. Also, you won't want to glue over the molding mat. It needs to stay clean and dry. To finish our hydrangea, I've prepared all the petals. I've punched the mini petals punch six to seven times and selected only the rounded flowers. Then I used a marker to draw a dot in the center of each flower. All the petals and leaves have been cupped and shaped and are now ready for the assembly. Cut a one inch styrofoam ball in half and paint it green. Starting at the top of the painted ball, attach each of the formed flowers with clear glue. Take the shaped birch leaves and with the one millimeter stylus, Add veining details to the leaves. Glue the leaves to the bottom of the hydrangea flower. There you have a beautiful hydrangea made with McGill's Paper Blossoms punches, molding tools, and five simple techniques. And look what I've created with the hydrangea. This attractive hydrangea card, this fun party favor box, a birdhouse that any bird lover will love, and a special notebook. Your creative possibilities are endless with McGill's Paper Blossoms Floral Design Tools, and you'll enjoy the satisfaction of making your own custom flowers. You can review these techniques and see more project ideas at mcgillinc.com. Now you can create a whole garden of paper flowers with McGill's Paper Blossoms Floral Design Tool. Just punch, shape, and assemble.